Hey guys, so today's video is going to be different than all the other videos I have on my channel. Um, it's going to be very serious and personal and I just feel like I have some stuff that I need to share with you guys. I have gotten a lot of new subscribers in the past week and I'm sorry if this is the second video you're seeing. Um, I know you subscribe to me to see me being stupid or goofy or whatever and not to see me just sitting down and talking to you you know what I don't even know if I'm gonna post this but I just need to talk and let it out sorry if there's a lot of cuts in this video I am very bad at explaining things and putting my feelings into words and I stutter a lot <sighs> but I'm gonna try to make this I don't even know, but I'm not coming on here to make you guys feel bad or whatever. Like, this isn't going to be a negative video at all. Um, if anything, it's a positive video. <laughs> if you subscribe to my channel because you want to see goofy videos and me being funny or whatever, this is not the video for you. Um, even though I really recommend that you do watch this video all the way through because I want you to hear what I have to say. You know, I don't want to be one of those YouTubers who just hides everything from their fans, who's scared to show everyone who they really are. You know, I want to... I feel like no influencers or YouTubers or social media people ever are straight up and real with their followers. I feel like influencers nowadays are just in it for the wrong reasons and I feel like everybody wants to become famous for the wrong reasons and I feel like so many people on the internet nowadays are so fake and deceiving um, and it makes everyone else think that their life is perfect and they're living this best life but they don't tell anyone what they're going through or what they're feeling or whatever. They they don't open up, they don't they aren't being honest with what's going on in their life. I think a lot of people forget that influencers and YouTubers are human too and we're just like everyone else and we have feelings too. And just because our Instagram pages look like we have the best life and that we're always smiling or always happy, that, that doesn't mean anything. It may look like we have the best life, it may look like we're always happy, but you know, we go through the same stuff you guys do. I just want you guys to know that I'm always going to keep it real with you guys. And I'm... If I lose subscribers because this isn't the type of video you guys want to see, then so be it. If you guys don't want to see someone be real, then I don't know what to tell you. I'd rather have the people who support whatever I'm doing or whatever I, I want to do or whatever I have to say. And I really want to make a difference. I, I want to inspire people and make people laugh and make people smile and make people happy. I want to change the way people think or change their perspective on certain things. People tell me they're depressed and that watching my videos help them get through their day or help them laugh and smile for once. People tell me that I inspire them. People tell me that they look up to me. People tell me they're proud of who I am and who I'm showing myself to be. That truly means so much to me because Honestly, that means what I'm doing is working. Like I said, if I could just make one person smile, if I could just make one person laugh, if I can change, if I can change one person's perspective on the way they think about certain things, if I can inspire one person, if I could save one person's life, just one person at least, to take away something from what I have to say and provide, that's all I want. You ever think about like, what is the meaning of life? Does my life have a purpose? What is my purpose? You feel like 
you're on this journey of life, but you don't know where you're going. It's the purpose of my life to make a name for myself, to be heard, to be seen by millions. I feel like most people spend their life chasing money or sexual relationships or fame. But what you find when you chase after all those things is you lose your identity of who you are. And you have to ask yourself, who am I? Oftentimes people find out the hard way that your sense of completion isn't found by how much you've achieved or how famous you become or how rich and powerful you are. We all want self-gratification. We all want to be liked and accepted. I feel like our self-worth and purpose starts being based upon how many likes we get on social media or how many followers we have. We fall victim to living a life based around our self-image. And I know I've struggled with this my whole entire life. That just leads us to live a life of self-comparison, which leads to depression. But you know what? What I've come to find out is that doesn't matter. Followers don't matter. Likes don't matter. None of that matters. You can have all the followers in the world and you can still have nobody. Take it from me. Everybody thinks that since I have followers that my life is so great and that I have so many friends, but you don't even know the half of it. I don't have any friends and I'm not going to sit here and act like I have so many friends because I don't. I have about three people, if that, <laughs> that are I can actually call a friend. I don't socialize. I have social anxiety. I don't know how to talk to people. I can't order my own food at a drive through or at a restaurant. And that's why I want to make this video, because I'm tired of people thinking certain things and assuming certain things just because I have followers or that some influencers have followers that we don't have real feelings and that we're not going through things. I just don't want to make it seem like I'm tricking you guys into believing something that's not true. I believe I'm called to live a life of significance. I know that I'm here to use my voice to help change the world and better everybody and I want you to separate me from any other YouTuber or influencer you know because I'm telling you right now that I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys no matter what and I'm not gonna act like I'm somebody I'm not because what does that do? I did that before and I acted like I was so happy and living the best life when I was in the worst spot of my life and I'm tired of acting like I'm okay on social media just because I have followers and I don't want to be negative on there. But you know what? I have feelings too. Nobody else is real with you anymore. Everybody is scared to show who they really are and that's why I'm here. To show you who I really am. And that's why I, I'm not wearing makeup. My hair's not brushed. I am sick. This is me. Man, everybody wants to be famous these days, but they don't want to handle what comes with it. And they can't handle what comes with it. The hate comments, the constant spotlight, the constant need to feel like you have to do everything perfect. Because everything you do is looked at and studied and Everybody's going to judge you on every single thing you do. And everybody wants to be an influencer just because they want some clout or they want the money that comes from it. And that's why I'm here to tell you that I'm not like that. And that's what I think sets me apart from any other influencer because I'm not in it for the money or the fame or the connections. I really, truly just want to make a difference and make someone smile or inspire somebody. And that's what I plan to do. This video is probably all over the place and it's going to be everywhere. So if you get confused, I'm sorry. But what I'm going to talk about next is 
probably a controversial, touchy subject, and I'm kind of scared to talk about it, but I'm going to. If you know me personally, you know that me and my family are not religious or into God or whatever you want to call it. I've never been to church. I've never read the Bible. I've never done any of that stuff. I don't even know what else to say because I am so uneducated about all that stuff. One side of my family is really religious and always talked about God and always talked about Jesus and always would talk about stuff like that. And I was just like, what are you saying, bro? Like, you're so weird. I was like, you're so weird. Like, why are you so obsessed? And honestly, that's because my family that I live with now has never exposed me to it and we've never been into that and I've never been around it. So I thought it was like really weird. But recently some people have been placed into my life and I've known them for a while, but I just recently started hanging out with them. If you have watched my videos, you've probably seen them. They are really into all that stuff and when I started hanging out with them, I was scared that they were going to find out that I wasn't into that or exposed to that ever. Like when I'm around them, it just, I felt almost uncomfortable and like an outcast because everyone would always say stuff and I wouldn't understand what they were saying because I wasn't educated about it and I felt like I didn't fit in. I'm not saying I didn't believe in God or that I did believe in God. It was just like there. Like I didn't have any opinion on it. Um, they accepted me and they weren't trying to force me to believe in anything or do anything. But my two friends, Brandon and Elijah, um, Brandon also goes by Pastor B, if you saw him in my other videos. And they're always talking about how they did something, they need to get closer with God, or they're drifting away, or they go to church, or youth group, or whatever it may be. And I was just like, if I'm going to be friends with these guys, I feel like I should know something about it. And not even that that was the reason that I wanted to learn about it, just because I wanted to be edu more educated about it, because I feel like everybody knows about it except me. Like, I told Elijah that I wanted to learn about it, and I was open to going to church or seeing what was up or, like, trying to figure things out. I decided to go to church with them on Thursday. And um, I really thought I wasn't going to like it. Because people told me that the people at church will judge you or think they're better than everyone else. And I don't like those kind of people. But I was like, I'm going to go and see what's the deal with that. So I went. But let me just tell you, it was probably one of the best things I've ever experienced. Um, I walked in and it was just they were playing some music and the songs, some of the songs made me cry. I was like, frick, I don't want to cry. Why am I crying right now? Just some of the lyrics just made me think about certain things. There's a guy talking on stage. His name is Blake. But shout out to Blake um, because it was just so refreshing and nice to listen to what he had to say and not even about God. It's just like the things he was saying, I could relate that to my life and what I'm going through right now and what I've been through in my life and put it in perspective from my own life to figure out how I needed to change myself, how I need to change and who I need to be and how I need to do it. No cap. I teared up so many times and I was like, bro, why am I crying around now? I cannot cry. And I was just thinking, I'm so strong from what I've overcome in my life and what I want to do with my life is make the world a better place and make somebody happy.
and I know my intentions are so, so pure. I mean, yeah, I want followers, but I don't want it for the reason that everybody else does. I want it so I can have a platform to speak about stuff that I'm speaking about right now and change their minds to be more like mine. Because if you know me, I think so differently than everybody else. If I wanted to just be famous and in it for the money here and get to the top and get a, a, so many followers, I could leech off my famous friends or influencers that I know. But am I doing that? No. I want people to follow me and support me because of me and because of what I want and what I'm producing and what I'm putting out to the world with my videos. I just want to make somebody laugh and smile, make somebody's day better. I feel like one thing we need to stop doing is stop being a people pleaser. Stop telling your friends or letting your friends do things that aren't going to benefit them and are only going to tear them down just because you don't want to keep it real with them. You need to stop making decisions that are not going to benefit you later in life. And I think a lot of us need to stop making permanent decisions based on temporary feelings. You gotta ask yourself, do I want this right now? Will I want this tomorrow? What is this gonna do for me? Who is this gonna benefit? How is this gonna benefit me? Am I only doing this because I just feel like this right for right now? Am I only, do I only wanna do this because it's gonna make me feel good for a couple seconds, a day, a week? And I feel like I always try to please everybody because I just want to make everybody happy, but in reality, that's not realistic at all. And I try to make everybody happy, and I try to please everybody, but you know what? Either way, somebody isn't going to be happy. And I feel like that's one pill that I need to learn how to swallow, because I'm not going to please everybody, and someone is always going to be unhappy. If I'm texting somebody some advice because I'm trying to be a good friend while I'm hanging out with my friends in real life, I'm trying to be a good person by helping out the person I'm texting, but now I'm neglecting my friends that I'm supposed to be hanging out with and ignoring them. But if I ignore the person who asked me to help them out and I hang out with my friends, then what kind of friend am I to not help that person out, you know? It's just a hard thing to learn how to balance. And just because the people you surround yourself with do certain things doesn't mean that you have to do the same. Just because they're doing something bad doesn't mean you have to go against your morals and what you believe in. I've grown up my whole life around drugs and alcohol and abuse and instead of telling yourself I've been around it my whole life I don't know anything else. I don't know better because that's all I was exposed to. That's not an excuse. Just because your parents are an alcoholic, just because your parents aren't drug addicts, just because your dad is abusive doesn't mean you have to be. And I find a lot of people saying, I smoke weed because I've been around it my whole life. Instead of saying, I've been around it my whole life, I don't know anything else, say, I've been around it my whole life, so I'm gonna let that be the reason that I don't do it. You can be the change, you can break the chain. Take me for example. You guys don't know what's gone on in my life. But all you have to know is that it's been the struggle and and it has never been easy for me and it still isn't. But a lot of you guys ask me why I don't cuss or why I don't drink or why I don't smoke or do drugs. And the reason why I don't do that stuff is for many reasons. Um, one, I find it gross. First being my grandpa was a drug addict, a heroin addict. Um, he died from heroin overdose. My dad was an alcoholic, one of my past boyfriends, and his friends were 
around drugs a lot. It was like, you can't have fun without being high. And I have other reasons why I don't like smoking or any of that stuff, but I'm not gonna get into it right now because this video is already way too long. And I don't cuss because I don't need to. And if you know my family, you know, they just cuss every three words and I am nowhere near alike with my family. And I feel like I'm so different from them and the way they think. And I feel like I disagree with everything they say, which is why I find myself fighting with them a lot. We need to stop blaming others for our mistakes or actions and start taking responsibility. Nobody is perfect and we all have parts of us that are broken. We need to stop holding grudges and always forgive, even if the person doesn't deserve to be forgiven. I believe that any person can change and flip their life around if they truly try. I feel like nobody has ever really accepted me for what I want to do. And it's tough because it's hard to get somewhere without any type of support, which I've gone my whole life without support. I need to stop lying to myself and be true to myself and everybody else and who I am. Yeah, I'm not good enough yet. I'm not good enough yet, but I'm going to make it happen. Everybody makes mistakes, but what really matters is how they go about those mistakes and how they use them to grow and better themselves. We've all made mistakes, but you have to think. When you made that mistake, what did you do about it? Did you think about how it affected you? Did you think about how it affected somebody else? Did you think about how it changed you as a person? I don't believe in living with regret. I don't think you should regret anything because I feel everything happens for a reason and that there's a reason that certain things have happened to you and let those things be the reason you're strong. Because anything you do, any mistake you've made, anything you could possibly regret, it's a lesson to you. And it's about to get real deep right now. And I was dreading about getting to this part. But I have to say it, and I have to be real with you guys. And I'm not gonna hide anything from you. So, um, you guys ever not feel smart enough, or pretty enough, or good enough, or skinny enough, or funny enough? And I've gone through a lot of things in my life, whether that be bullying, family problems, abuse, sexual assault, not having friends. everything in the book <laughs> but you know what the things that I've been through have only made me the person that I am today and the strong girl that I am today and and they're the reason why I want to make the world better and the reason I want to change people's minds about certain things. And I want to stop people from joking about things that shouldn't be joked about. Because, you know, you don't know what your comment or joke is gonna do to somebody's feelings. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what has happened to them in their life. And you don't know how your comment is gonna affect them. And especially being on social media, it's really hard because, you know, there is a lot of hate comments and there are a lot of people that don't want to see you succeed. There's a lot of people that are never going to be happy for you. It's even harder when you have no support in the first place. You know, I've been depressed the past probably 
four or five years of my life. And, and I, and I feel like depression is just taken so lightly lately. And on Twitter, everybody just jokes about it and normalizes it. And I don't think that's okay at all. Man, there's people, there's really people out here ending their lives. And I've been there too many times. From the past few months, my life has changed from my all-time low to my all-time high. About four months ago, I don't even know. I was at my lowest point and I didn't want to be here anymore. And I thought nobody liked me and I thought nobody cared about me. And I thought I wasn't good enough for anybody. And I thought I had no purpose. I was going through a tough time in my life with a certain relationship and just something you guys should remember is that you can't heal in a place that got you sick. Sometimes you need to put yourself first and put your mental health first and your happiness. I don't want to say this, but <laughs> that was two minutes away from killing myself. <laughs> Ending my life forever. <laughs> Letting down anybody who cared about me or loved me. <laughs> it's because I didn't want to deal with it anymore. <laughs> because after a certain point of feeling a certain way, it's just like, why would I? put myself through this anymore if I didn't have to. It's been four years. Everybody says it's gonna get better, but it hasn't. And when will it? In that moment where I was gonna end my life, a whole bunch of stuff was going through my head because at that moment, I thought nobody cared about me nobody loved me or that I wasn't good enough and that I had no purpose for anything that I was going nowhere in life. And you know, as I said, nobody supported me and nobody ever believed in me. And my own family has never even told me they loved me before until that night. I didn't do it because my parents came and they told me how much they cared and how much they love me. I think you guys need, I think everybody needs to remind their family and friends that you love them because, you know, sometimes you just need to be told that you're loved and that you mean something to someone. The morning after, I snapped out of everything and my mindset changed. And I said, I'm tired of living like this. I'm not gonna be sad anymore. I think you guys need to remember that stuff has happened to everybody. And there's places where everybody's broken. Some of the things 
that have happened in my life. I don't wish to put anybody. And, and those things, those things that have happened to me will scar me for the rest of my life. And, and those things are always a reminder to me One certain thing that has happened to me that is always in the back of my mind every moment of every day. Fear. And nobody knows. We need to stop letting our life be controlled by our past and other people's opinions relationships or money. Healing takes time. And I can say I'm in a place where I'm okay. And I think it's important to remember that there's some things in life that you can't that you can't change that you can't always avoid. You have to accept that. I've had no friends the majority of my life. And you know what? I've learned to be okay with being alone. And you know what? Sometimes being alone is good. And sometimes you gotta learn to do things on your own and by yourself. Go take a walk by yourself. Go do something that makes you happy. And I know you guys probably think that my life is the most perfect thing ever, but it's not at all. But what I want you guys to take from this video is that it's possible to change. That it's possible to better yourself it's possible to overcome everything you've been through it's possible to be strong and things are gonna happen in your life that you can't do anything about and you're still gonna have to deal with it i just need you guys to know that you guys have a purpose and there are people that love you and care for you even if they may not show it until you're gone. And I hate to put this kind of sadness on my channel when I just rant about being positive and happy and goofy all the time, but you know what, it's not like that all the time. And if you guys wonder why I don't post consistently or a lot, it's because I second guess myself a lot but I'm not gonna post something that I'm not completely happy with or that I wasn't myself in. Because I wanna inspire you guys and give you guys the best content I can give. And if it's not, and I have about 25 edited videos on YouTube right now that are just privated and that I have never uploaded and that never will be uploaded because it's not my best work. And I want to give you guys the best content I can give. I'm not going to give you half of me. I'm going to give you all of me. And if I feel like I'm not doing that in a certain video, then I'm not going to share it with you guys. I know a lot of you guys are new, and I know a lot of you guys came here for videos not like this. But if you guys want me, to talk about certain things, go more in depth, advice, whatever it may be, I want to talk about it. And I want to be real with you guys and I want to be the person you guys can talk to. And if you guys ever need anything 
You can always DM me. I reply to everybody. I just want to be the person you guys can go to to be happy. And not even that you need to be talking to me or having a conversation with me to be happy. Just, I want to be able to make your day better with my videos or make you smile or laugh because I know when 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 I was in my place of ultimately low I don't know <laughs> what I'm trying to say but when I was very at a low point in my life <laughs> I would watch certain YouTubers so I could have 15 minutes of happiness in my day. And I'm so thankful that I had those YouTubers to listen to and to watch and to make me laugh when I couldn't be happy on my own. I want to be that for you guys. And I want to inspire you guys to be better people. And. I feel like I didn't really get to say everything I wanted to in this video, and it's already like four hours long. I want to keep it real with you guys all the time, and I have so much to say. And if you guys want, I can make more videos like this, just sitting down, raw, no makeup, looking like a bum and a hoodie, <laughs> just talking about life. If not, I could just keep making funny videos, which I will keep doing no matter what. But just sometimes I feel like it'd be good to have a serious video just to remind you guys of certain things. And I didn't really get to say everything I wanted to say this video because I forget what I say. And what I wanted to say so and I asked you guys on Instagram and Twitter for anything you guys want advice on or help with or anything you guys want me to talk about and I got a lot of things to talk about so if you guys want me to make a couple videos or make this a series or something I can do that but I thought I'd upload this first just to see how you guys feel about it. If not, I will give the people their advice in their DMs. But I thought it would be nice to share it on YouTube. So if anybody else is going through the same thing, then they could hear it as well. But I'm sorry for a depressing video. But. I just want you guys to rethink your decisions about your own life. Who are you as a person? Are you the person you want to be? Are you making decisions that are going to benefit your life temporarily or permanently? Are you making a decision based on what you want right now that is just going to make you happy for small amount of time it's just those things you need to think about and be true to yourself and take responsibility and yeah so so I think that's all that I'm going to talk about today but I hope you guys took something away from it. Um, I just want you guys to know that I love every single one of you guys for supporting me and loving what I do, and being proud of me. Even if you're just watching this to make fun of me or to see what I'm talking about so you can go tell your friends that I'm not happy but I am happy and I'm more happy than I've ever been and I 
need to thank Elijah and Pastor B for that because you know what? I'm the happiest I've been for a really long time and it's because of them and they were placed in my life at such the perfect time and I'd like to thank them for just being good people to me. Uh, I don't know why I'm freaking crying again, Frank. <laughs> but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry. Um, I'll be back to my normal funny videos after this. Um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And comment if you guys want me to make more videos like this and be real with you guys and what you guys want me to talk about if you do. And if not, comment what videos you want to see from me. Um, don't forget to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you can be notified when I upload. And I'll be back with more videos soon. Peace.